Hello everyone, um, so this video is in English, just a follow-up video that uh, I want to answer two questions that was made by Alexei in the previous video about the bandwidth of the MSO 5000 lineup of uh, Rigo. So yes, Alexei, thank you for both questions. The first one was about the cable, if uh, a cable that I was using the coax I uh, could handle the uh, 1 gigahertz signal or above 1 gigahertz uh, signal and the answer to that first question is yes uh, coaxial regular coaxial cables just like this one uh, or any uh, cable like that could handle easily a gigahertz right um, and also I'm using a SMA to BNC uh, adapter BNC connectors they also work up to 2 gigahertz roughly 3 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz uh, if they are gold plated or whatnot, so basically, yeah, the cable is not a problem. I tested with other two gigahertz cables that I have here, and uh, it also worked pretty well. The second question was about uh, dot mode in the display of the MSO, just to see if that one gigahertz signal was real, right, Alexei? And that's a pretty good question. So let's come here close to the screen. You can see it's one in a second per division. You can be easily convinced that this is a one gigahertz signal, right? There you go. And uh, the counter is getting a gigahertz too. And let me show you the display. Currently is in vector. So if I change it to that mode, uh, you can see, can, oh yes, the points are there because I'm getting 10 mega points right now. Right, so 8 giga samples, 10 mega points is more than enough for a gigahertz signal. And yeah, it's real, it's attenuated, the amplitude is not that accurate, right? So the problem here is not the points, the problem here is the amplitude. The amplitude is not accurate, right? So you cannot trust uh, this amplitude. You can see that uh, there's a small offset here. Uh, obviously, I'm not using uh, my rooting force generator because I'm fixing uh, the pulse modulation module uh, currently. It's having some temperature issues or whatnot. So I'm using here my Signal Hound VSG25A, which is a pre good signal generator, right? So you can see him on my screen. I'm feeding in a eight, uh, one gigahertz signal, uh, 13 dBm. So you can expect a high attenuation. So modulation is turned off, right? only a CW okay so I decided to add another experiment just to make it clear that uh, these this device this equipment it actually supports high frequency stuff so um, I'm here in the same configuration as before 10 mega points 8 giga samples 1 nanoseconds per division and 20 millivolts uh, in the vertical right so now I've got a lot of one module right here and I'm feeding in some AT commands uh, right via the serial port for the transmission at 900 megahertz. So I'm going to send here, uh, you know, hello, which is a regular uh, command, right? So let's see what happens there. So I'm not setting the trigger to single, just for you to see what happens. So if I send the lower one signal, you, you saw the signal, so let's put in a single. All right, there you go, and you can see here. Unfortunately, the counter uh, doesn't work when you do a single, but you can see that there's not a gigahertz, right? Um, uh, it's very close. Lower one, it's 915, so we, we could measure that. Um, let us measure the frequency. Um, this is not accurate. Uh, let's use the cursors. So. Um, let's see, track, okay, so let us get this cursor to this peak right here, and that one to this other peak right here, right, so yeah, there you go, 909 megahertz, that is precisely what we were transmitting, right, so you can actually see uh, those signals. So it's not just a CW form from a signal generator. So lower one real, real module, 
you, you can see uh, at what frequency that is transmitting. Okay, so that's basically another experiment that I could show you guys that are actually uh, wondering if that high frequency is actually real. So, yep, it is. So, even if I turn the cursors off, you can see if I send again the signal, picks up something, right? Let's adjust the trigger. Look at that, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, Alexei, again for your question. I'm using a 50 ohm load here, right? Um, to get a better power transfer to the device. And that's it, Rigo Oscilloscope, 350 megahertz uh, equipment that can actually measure the one gigahertz signal. Okay, so thank you very much. See you in the next one.